Um, we are in Puddletown Forest today near Dorchester um, and we are here for a Sun Lizard uh, release which is part of the wider reintroduction program that's coordinated by the Amphibian and Reptile Conservation Trust um, and we're also here today with Forestry England who manage the site. Dorset holds about 80% of the, the entire UK sand lizard population, so it's an incredibly important county. 18th of May, we had a, a major forest fire at Wareham. It was about 220 hectares in size, and the distance that it travelled was three kilometres. So a huge, huge area. A lot of open heathland was affected, as well as plantation areas. I mean, it was it was a, a devastating thing for me to see. I've been there and managed that site for 30 years, and it's the biggest single forest fire that we've had in that period. So, yeah, really heartbreaking. We managed to save several hundred reptiles um, post, of, post the fire itself. So the sun lizard is one of our two rare reptiles in the UK. Um, it's had a massive population losses um, over the 19th and 20th century um, due to habitat destruction and fragmentation. Um, so the reintroduction program is hoping to return um, the species to many of their former strongholds um, that have now been restored and are in more protected areas. ARC have been um, working to establish absence of um, sand lizards since 1994 on this particular site. Uh, sand lizards are so difficult to actually get information from. We usually do about uh, six to ten years, depending on the size of the site. It's, it's a brilliant partnership in this particular location and decided to actually um, reconvert uh, quite a large area back to Heath. Well connected big unit, suitable for all native species. Five of the rep native reptile species are present. The only one that uh, we lost through time uh, with sand lizards, so now it's in very good condition, we can bring it back. We started to create larger areas of heathland around about 10 years ago, um, so pretty much within five years from then we were looking at getting sand lizard back in once we'd got the habitat into a state where they could survive and we've done a lot of work providing bare ground opportunities for breeding and that's been a key part of getting the getting the habitat into a condition where um, you know our cells ARC and food and reptile conservation and Marwell wildlife can were happy that the animals could come in here. So Marwell wildlife has been involved um, with the sun lizard reintroduction project now for over 30 years um, so we've been um, captive rearing juveniles for release over that time. We've released um, to sites all across the south of the UK um, and we've re released over 2,000 um, hatchlings over that period. So today we have about 200 lizards being released um, and we had to catch them all up in their outdoor rearing vivariums at the zoo this morning, um, put them in um, containers and drive them over to the site um, for this afternoon's release. We've had a really successful breeding year this year, um, including a clutch of 17 eggs and a lot of the lizards have double clutched, so they've laid a second clutch later in the season. So we've had an incredibly high number of hatchlings, which is amazing to be able to contribute um, to the release.